Hey, Internet, it's Monday, August 31st, 2009, and I just watched this interview of Chris Brown explaining why he beat Rihanna to the point where she looked like this. Some cute little devil horns. And his reason for it was, it was, it's just like, it's crazy. I don't even remember it. It's like, wow. In Larry King's The Only Show, you can use some bullshit excuse like, it was like, wow. Mainly because Larry King won't call you on it. Because Larry King died four years ago and his body's just propped up on puppet strings. Put a speaker in the back of his throat and it just shoots out vague questions. But Chris Brown and his baby blue shirt and his baby blue bow tie to make him seem all friendly. Well, he brought his mama on to show, you know, he's such a good person. And he's not violent or any shit like that, son. But I guess my question is, who the fuck cares what Chris Brown's mom says? If someone asked my mom and I needed her to, she would tell the police or fucking Larry King that I was a seven foot tall black man from Kenya with superpowers and I could fly and shoot lasers out of my eyes if it would somehow help me. Because one, family helps family, okay? Family will lie for you. And two, your mom, like my mom, is a huge fan of my checkbook. She's not gonna smack a sandwich out of her own damn mouth. So Chris, just give up on the whole double the freshness, Chris Brown, and just embrace the douchebaggery like Soldier Boy. Just embrace the fact that you are Chris Brown, I'm gonna make my lawyer rich cause I'm a stupid motherfucker. Yeah! Internet, as many of you guys know, I'm a huge advocate for the legalization of marijuana. Okay, I think it's less harmful than alcohol, it'll stimulate our economy, and I seem much more productive than stoners. I personally don't smoke weed because I can't stand the smell and I'm already crazy, I really don't need chemicals in my body. One of the talking points for people that love weed has always been, you know, if I drink and I drive, I can get a ticket. But, you know, if I smoke weed, they can't prove it. Well, Toby, that's not gonna be the case anymore. They have the this new device out there that you have to spit into and in 90 seconds they can find out if you have any drugs in your system. So a little tip for you, um, don't be a scumbag and, you know, do drugs and then drive. That's always good advice. When we go on to movie news, the fourth Final Destination, the 3D one that just came out last weekend, came in first place, bringing in $25 million, which is amazing for a movie that really just gave up on plot and interesting deaths. I mean, honestly, a rock flying into someone's head. There's a reason this movie was slated to be just a DVD only release. But in second place, was Inglorious Bastards with $20 million. And that's its second week. And I'm saying this as a very biased Tarantino fan. Like, I loved From Dusk Till Dawn. Inglorious Bastards could honestly be the best movie this year. Pretty much everyone in the movie is great. I mean, you have Eli Roth, Brad Pitt, and honestly, the best actor in the movie and the guy that just carried the entire movie was Christoph Waltz, the guy who played Hans Landa, or the Jew Hunter. And I definitely recommend seeing that movie. Your Monday question of the day is, what is the best movie you've seen this year? Leave a text or a video response. Really quick, let's jump into viewer mail, and this was sent in from Katie from Naperville, Illinois. Thank you, Katie, for um, drawing me um, with a bigger top lip, so it's not the the odd thinness that I have going on. He is sexy, that's a lie. Um, even doubly so, because, um, big shocker, I shaved my head. Uh, I know. All 20 women who watch the show right now are like, no, Phil, why? Why'd you do it? I kind of wanted to look like a big, giant, fat baby, just in case Selma Hayek ever decided to breastfeed another stranger's baby ever again. If you want to see the abomination that is my head uh, happen, me cutting my hair, the, the link to that video is also in the description, along with all the stories we've talked about today. But guys, that's really all that mattered to me this Monday. My name's Philip DeFranco, and you've just been filled in.